everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today I have a bit of a surprise box to show you guys. It's the October Wolf and Time box. I actually am subscribed to their box and will have my own October box to show you guys at a later date. Uh, but the company messed up a bit and accidentally sent me one that was supposed to go to another influencer. Um, and don't worry, the curator cat fixed the problem and sent the box to the influencer that needed uh, to get her box. But she said for me to keep this one and have this one be a review box. So this is awesome because Wolf and Time, as you guys know from my previous unboxing, unboxes three, I'm sorry, offers three separate subscription levels. And this list one, I believe, is going to be a different level than the one I ordered for my subscription. Um, I haven't opened it yet. Clearly, it's still sealed and everything. But I'm just guessing by the size of the box that it was shipped in. So if you want to check out this new October Wolf and Time box, please stay tuned. Alright, so back in August you saw the very first box that I unboxed from this amazing company and it was the Luna Lux box which is the highest uh, most expensive option that they offer and it was just an example it wasn't exactly August box but it was an example of what could be in the box and then what the subscription that I currently have is the Luna box which is their middle range box and I can't wait to show you guys I have not put any of them up on my channel yet but I definitely want to as soon as I can and this is the lowest of the three options. Um, this is just the Wolf and Time box, is how it's uh, denoted. And this one has usually three to five items, depending on um, the items. And it, it, it's uh, the theme for October is, I would just say this is the October themed Wolf and Time box, all right. So I think that'll it'll tell us in the uh, nice letter here below the recycled paper that I love, love that the curator puts all this on recycled paper. Um, it'll feature items for self-care, connection to nature, observance of the moon, and for the growth and wild spirit of your heart. Oh, uh, this month's theme is create. All right, that's a really cool theme. So you can expect things like spiritual tools, crystals, organic teas, botanical self-care products, vegan salon hair care, holistic items, jewelry, and much more. As associated with each new each month's new theme so this is super cool and you guys if you're interested in the three tiers that they offer for subscription boxes I will go over that information with the pricing at the end but guys I do have a discount code for you if you use Jesse M 15 you'll get 15% off your purchase of any of the tiers of subscriptions so I'll put that on the screen and of course the description box below now this is new. I believe I heard from another YouTuber that she got these new cards for her box and this is gorgeous, gorgeous art. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, it's got her logo and I'm imagining the cat drew and pa or painted this wolf. And let's see what this is. Alright, this is the wolf pack. Connected to nature in tune with the moon. Nurturing mind, body, and soul. Oh, this is just explaining the box and the company. I, re I really, really, really like this. Cat, this is awesome, this card. Uh, this is a great addition to the box. Eco-conscious, herbal and holistic, spiritual, grounded, and magical supporting artisans and creators, vegan hair and skin care. And all of the social medias are down there. So I love these letters. They're made out of... Uh, recyclable paper the earth paper you can actually plant I believe and she's got a really nice sticker on it uh, and it acts as a product guide as well but it's nice I just love feeling this paper <laughs> it's so soft in fact if you guys have ever felt the paper that can be planted um, so let's take a quick look at that I'll quickly show you the letter it is something to plant and you can uh, expect to pl uh, grow wildflowers when you're done but it's also a product guide so I just want to read you the top paragraph real quick Many blessings from the Wolf and Time box. This theme is create. When you stop for a minute and become present, it usually is usually when you realize what your soul needs today in the moment. Creating something to help you explore your heart's desires, what you want to manifest, or what you need to get out can help you with the process of staying in the moment. To create, 
brings the flow back into your life and lets you feel like you are a little more in control while realizing things that you've never thought of before. In self-care, this practice can help you grow, connect with your source, and become more grateful and happy. I really love that and can't wait to see what we get into here. Oh wow, so many nice little things are included, all wrapped up. Here's something wrapped in a little brown uh, bag. I love the stickers for this this month. Alright, so I'm assuming that this is a little um, bag for the tea. I think we had tea last month, or I'm sorry, my last box. I think that's a pretty uh, normal thing for this box. And it looks like something new that might be added. This looks, appears to be a tarot card. Um, and the card says mystery. Ghost pipe monotropia uniflora. Oh, so maybe it's just a plan of, it could be just a card of a plant. I'm sorry, I really don't know. I don't, maybe this belongs to a tarot uh, deck and it's a single card. There's the back, it's a really nice design. Um, it's a really, really pretty flower, and that's clearly the botanical name. Monotropa uniflora, ghost pipe. It's a really cool plant. I've never heard of it. All right, each month in each box, there's a featured art print. I absolutely love this. I can tell it's a ring ne neck pheasant. Growing up uh, in my parents' house, we used to see these when I was really young. Um, we had a couple every now and then that would come on the property, but they, unfortunately here in Maryland, you see them less and less frequently. But look at the moon behind it. I think almost all of Kat's paintings and drawings have moons in them, obviously, as our lunar collection. This is simply gorgeous. It comes in a little laminate. I've got my um, my dough paint, painting from last uh, my last box up on my shelf. And I'll have to find a place for this. This would actually, might just change it out. It would look really, really nice with all the colors of the pheasant. I mean, yeah, sorry. <laughs> the ring neck pheasant. Alright, the description guide is it's the original artwork. It's a 5x7 watercolor print. Pheasant Rising is what it's called. Oh, that's a, that's a really great name. It's an original watercolor painting by Cat Grady of a pheasant looking to the moon. The pheasant, as a shaman power... Animal helps you with activity, transcendence, and the masculine. The pheasant helps you with leaving your comfort zone and flying free into new ideas. It also helps you with revealing hidden truths and showing your peers your potential. Call, call upon the pheasant for writing your story, the courage to express yourself, and confidence to promote your ideas. Energy center, root, mineral, axonite, element, earth. I didn't know all that about the pheasant, but that is awesome. All right, this next item is also wrapped up in paper, and it's, it's, I love opening each individual thing. It's fun when everything's always wrapped up in uh, boxes like this. All right, I see a whole bunch of goodies in here, uh, so I'm and plus a blank sheet of the uh, replantable, replantable, plantable paper, so I'm going to definitely um, refer to the product guide to take a look at what I'm looking at. Okay. You guys, this uh, card here is an oracle card, I believe. It's It was um, bunched in with this junk journal packet and botanical oracle card. This kit has creative materials in it, such as stickers and papers, as well as a handmade bookmark with blessed salts, watercolor, and stamping to help you on your expressive path. Use them for your journal, your grimoire, your vision boarding, or whatever magic you prefer. This included oracle card in your tea bag envelope has been especially chosen for you to help you be guided on what your self-care journey is calling to you. So apparently my self-care journey is calling mystery to me. Um, so that's a mystery. <laughs> so let's take a look at what we have in here to put in the, um, the journaling or even... Uh, I've never heard the term junk journal, but I like having the extra sheet of paper to have something to facilitate that. I do have to say, Kat, I would say this month um, it's a little bit confusing to go through the product guide because some of the items are, you know, the Oracle card was listed with this bundle but wasn't with the bundle, as well as these bobby pins are listed in a separate item and not with the journaling, uh, junk journaling bundle. Um, so it, it, <laughs> I guess I could have read the whole product card in itself in its entirety, but I don't like to do that because I like to be surprised. So in that aspect, um, it makes unboxing a little tricky. 
But this is the bookmark, which I, I think is absolutely beautiful. It's got the little uh, moth sticker on there. And you can see the gold design. Hope you guys can see that. That's really pretty on the bottom. Ooh, if I shine, if I move it around, it's very, very sparkly and shiny. Uh, so let's see the bookmark again. Um, was oh, you're right. It was blessed salt, watercolor, and stamping. So there is there is salt on there. So that's really cool. I'm not going to open all of these right now. But these seems to be either stickers and or cutouts of different things you can put in your junk journal. Or, you know, use them really for whatever type of crafting or creating as you want, since that's the month's theme. I really like them. There's a lot of beautiful plants in here. Um, I, I think this is a really great idea. Very, very cool. Alright, so these uh, three pins are really, really pretty. I absolutely love the green color on them. They're resin. You can see that up close. They're really gorgeous. They're from a separate company called uh, Bumblebee Botanica. And I actually recognize this. This girl uh, who runs this company also has a YouTube channel that I follow. So I will put hers as well as Kat's YouTube channel, the creation curator of this box, uh, down in the description box below. So it's the Resin Botanical Hairpins. These handmade hairpins have intentional energy and beautiful botanicals encased in resin. There is baby's breath, reindeer moss, and thyme to help you connect with, to your crown chakra and make you feel cared for. The antique brass creates a timeless look as you add a little magic to your hair as you create. Created with love by Bumblebee Fern at www.bumblebeebotanica.com. I'll put her website in there uh, as well. I'm not showing you guys a product guide. I'll put um, Bumblebee Fern's website in there as well as her YouTube channel. Um, that's super cool, you guys. I didn't realize this antique brass. I mean, it really does make them look antique. We've got a little bumblebee wax um, seal on here. That's really, really nice. So I'm assuming this card that they're on just came from Bumblebee Firm. Yeah, it looks like that's... Eee! Sorry. That's mentioned right there. Collector of Bumblebee Firm. Especially crafted just for you by Bumblebee Firm. Fern. Sorry. <laughs> that's on the back. Very cool. I love that they collaborated together. That's awesome. I was actually in a premiere video. Um, was it from Bumblebee Fern? At one point, yes. I have watched one for premieres. So, yes. Very cool YouTube channel to check out. All right. So, here is the loose leaf tea of the month. We have the Secret Garden. It's the brand. It's called Shazam, I think. Energy, energy optimizing tea. Yikes. I don't need that. <laughs> I'd probably become a jittery mess if I got energizing tea, but I definitely um, know people who will drink this, you know, no, not a problem there. Ingredients, green tea, astragalus root, uh, schizander berries, rhodiola root, eleuthero root, and stevia leaves. Sorry if I mispronounced any of those, but I'll read what the product guide says about the tea. I vaguely remember, but I'm not sure, this might be the same tea company she used before, Secret Garden of San Luis Obsipo, California. Actually, I have a friend and fellow YouTuber from that area. That's super cool. Shout out to you. You know who you are. Don't want to give away your location. <laughs> this local organic tea is a blend of herbs called Shazam and is an energy optimizing tea to help you stay motivated and created. It is slightly sweetened with stevia leaves and contains caffeine. Brewed best in the included tea bag or loose leaf, leaf teapot. All right, local woman-owned business. Power to the women-owned businesses. I love companies that support, support small women businesses. So um, women-owned businesses. So that's fantastic. All right. So this next item comes in this tiny little box. It's really cute, and I love the little stickers on it. The stickers everywhere are a nice touch, Cat. I, I really, uh, I really like them. All right, I love the moss that came um, in the box to pad this gorgeous pendant necklace. This is a pendant, see, can you guys see this? This is a pendant of sunstone, and it's on a really pretty silver chain. Um, I really, really like this pendant, guys. This is my kind of, my kind of jewelry right here. Uh, it's just very difficult to show. But here it is, sunstone in all its glory an awesome crystal. Actually, I don't believe I have any sunstones, so that's super cool. 
let's read about it in the description guide. All right. As you turn this salmon-colored pendant in your fingers, you will see a flash like a small sun flare. Oh, that's really cool. A sunstone brings you abundance and nurturing energy. It helps encourage originality and reveal your talents, as well as enjoyment and independence. Set in a silver case on a water ripple chain made from silver plated copper. This pendant can be charged in the sun or full moonlight and will help you with your creative energy. So cool. <laughs> silver plated copper. I've never heard of that. And I love the water rippled chain. I mean, that's a, I mean it's a sparkly chain. It's a really pretty design. So let's see. I'm going to see if we can capture this uh, sunstone like effect here. All right, I zoomed in a bit just to see. I think from that angle you can see a little bit of sparkles when I move it. It's a hard thing to do because my hand, I realize, is creating a massive shadow. Actually, let me come in from the other direction where there is no light. Come on, just use your brain. That's better, I think. It's really pretty. I think the best thing would be for me to try it on, as I like to do with my necklaces. So if I can get a picture of this for you guys, I will insert it here. Alright, so I'm, this next item is in this uh, nice black pouch. I'm hoping it's a crystal. I don't know. I didn't look at the product guide. Um, we'll see if it's what it is. All right, so I've never seen anything like this next item. It's a brass bowl, and it comes with this gorgeous, gorgeous lid. So we can put it on like that. I definitely want to read from the product guide because I would have no clue at all what to tell you about it beyond the fact that it's a brass bowl. So it's, and it also came in that little pack with a botanical flower candle. We'll get to that in a minute. You have a little brass bowl that is ornate and has details of mother of pearl and little ornate legs. It comes with a flower press candle that you can use in a holder, holder or stick in a bowl of salt. You can use these for meditation, adding herbs, flowers, or incense, creating an offering of gratitude or adding you, your special jewelry to, or a sigil or any other precious use. I always like to light incense and a candle when I paint to put my spirit in the right place. Hmm. That's really neat. So this is, the top is showing the mother of pearl. That around the side here. That is absolutely gorgeous. I, I, I really love that. Um, it's a gorgeous lid and it talked about the ornate little legs. Oh wow. You guys, let me put the lid down. Look at these legs on this thing. I actually, this is a good size for my rings. Right now I've got my rings in a trinket bowl, but I'm always so afraid that the crystals, like the tiny tumbles that I have in there with them are going to like break the rings. So I think I'll probably put this on my shelf and put my rings inside. What do you guys think? Because I'm, getting, I'm accumulating rings from subscription boxes. I think this would be a good idea. This is really, really pretty. And I love the candle as well. It's uh, but it's got a nice botanical look to it. It's really, really pretty. It's almost too pretty to burn. <laughs> so many candles are like that these days, aren't they? Too pretty to burn. Amazing. Okay, yes. So there is a crystal in here. Um, I I don't I couldn't tell you offhand what it is. We'll have to go to the product guide. But look, it's got a kind of a grayish side. It's definitely smooth tumbled, and some purple striations at the top. It almost looks like a dyed Easter egg, you know, where you dip one half, you dip the other half. Sorry, I'm completely in the wrong season. Uh, let's go to the product guide and read about this lovely, lovely, lovely crystal. All right, so this is the Nar Narmada Tumbled Stone from India. Okay, I've never heard of this one. I have a uh, new book that I recently got called The Crystal Bible. I'm going to look it up and see if it's in there, although I know I'm sure Kat's going to give us a great description here. You have a special Narmada River Stone, which is also called Shiva Lingams. Oh, okay. I was gonna <laughs> I'm sorry. I was going to say it looks a lot like the oval Sh Shiva Lingam that I have in my collection, but I didn't want to say it because it was kind of a purplish, and my Shiva Lingam has more of like a... 
a red rusted clay kind of color like if you think of like the color Native Americans would use uh, to make red when they when they mash up uh, rocks or things like that it's kind of the color of it uh, side note there sorry <laughs> so they're also called shivalinghams or banalingas which are only found in India these stones are gathered once a year in special ceremony and then polished by hand it is a divinity stone that helps you let go, and it is symbolic of the divine creative manifestation. It will help you achieve your creative power while connecting you to the universe and the vibration of the earth. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I really like it. Let's show it one more time. That's what, the, the banded part. That's what I was thinking. It looks like shivalingam, but I didn't want to say anything because it was a different color. But, you know, I... They do come in just different colors, and I'd never heard of the name um, Narma Narmada. Yeah, wow. It's really, oh, sorry. It's really pretty, and it's a really nice size, too. My Shivalingham is, um, is, is smaller and more oval-like, and it might be, like, that, that long or something. Um, it's it's somewhere. It's in a video, or it might be in a very early on Instagram post. If you guys want to hunt for it, it's a cool stone, uh, definitely. All right, guys. So I count just from the product guide. The product guide is denoting seven di seven different items, and this uh, Wolf and Time, the lowest tiered box, was um, you know claiming to have three to five items. So this is fantastic. I, I, I'm actually really, really glad that this um, happy accident happened and that I got the box by mistake because this is giving me a great insight as to what the lowest tier subscription box looks like. And there's still plenty of items and wonderful things in here. Um, I can't wait to open my Luna box, which is the next level up of for October, and to see what I got in there and to compare. We can do some car comparisons and stuff like that. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm really, really impressed. You know, some of these items, too, there was multiple things, like the journaling junk. Junk journaling. Sorry, I don't know why I can't get that right. Um, packet came with a couple items. You know, there's individual, um, for this, the brass bowl and candle, exam, for example, were uh, considered to be one item, and they're, they're not. They're two, I mean, technically. So this is a really, really great box, you guys. I'm, again, in love with it. I love the first month's theme and I, I can't wait to see where this cons subscription goes and continues. Um, as always, let's see, to pick out my favorite item, I love the ring ne neck pheasant painting back there. Um, of I love birds, of all, you guys know, I'm a massive avid birder. Um, and to see one that reminds me of where I grew up is just really, really awesome. And it's very colorful and cheerful, I like that too. And I'm a big fan of this necklace, the sunstone necklace. Um, you guys know I love my crystal necklaces and my crystal jewelry. And it's got a nice shiny sparkly chain. So cool. I really like this brass bowl, uh, especially with the mother of pearl. That's just so pretty. Um, I definitely, I think I am, oh yeah, definitely going to put that on my shelf with my crystals. And store my rings in there, keep them a little safer. And um, I also love the Shivalingham or the Narmada crystal. I think those are my my personal favorite items. Let me know what you guys think in the description box below. Well, let me know what your personal item is. And thank you guys so much with, for hanging out with me as I unbox the October Wolf and Time box. Oh, and I did say I would go over the prices, didn't I? So I'll have these in the description box below as well, you guys. But this, this box... Um, I don't know why there are ranges, oh, price, uh, depending on your subscription, so if you get like a, an annual plan, six months, three months, one, one per month, the, um, this box that I just got, the smallest one, the Wolf and Time, uh, ranges from $19 to $28 per month. The Luna box, the one that I'm subscribed to, ranges from $43 to $58 per month, and that includes six to eight items. And the biggest box, the first one I unboxed on my channel back in August, uh, the Luna Lux box is $60 to $78 per month, and it includes 10 to 12 items. Um, so just to give you an idea, those are the prices. I want to thank Kat so much for letting me keep this box uh, free to review. And um, in addition to my subscription, this is exciting. You know, even if some of the things duplicate, we can see. Um, 
because it looks like, I mean, it's a creative type box, so even if I get more stickers or more whatever, you know, it's going to be amazing for me to use this all for the purpose of creating and uh, bringing out man manifestation and my creative energy. So again, you guys, if you like this video, if you like me, please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. It helps my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to push the notification bell all the way to the top so you're notified of all my future unboxings and live streams. And also, too, do please leave me a comment on what, what you think of this box, your favorite product is, etc. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later. Bye. All right, guys, bonus clip time. <laughs> Quite literally, too, because uh, I don't think I gave these resin hair clips enough attention by Bumblebee Botanica. Especially because the owner of this company is another fellow YouTuber. I really wanted to show. Let's see. Can you guys see the different herbs in, encased in the resin? Yeah. That, that wow. Um, I'm praising my camera right now for the amazing focus on these three. But they're really incredible. And they're just, the brass really gives them a unique design. And each one's different. I'm really, really impressed. I'm, I want to look more at her company and what else she sells. But just to give you an idea, here's one. Um, hold it by the... <laughs> so I wanted to try to show you the brass, you know, the kind of antique part to it, but... I, I Come on, camera, I just praised you. <laughs> well, you guys saw them before. Um, but this is just what, what one looks like. Uh, I haven't put in hairpins into my hair in a long time, but these are so gorgeous. I would love, you know, Cat Runs a Hair Salon. And if you follow her on Instagram, she's got these amazing photos of hair designs and some design styles that she does. I would love to see these pins in some of those hairstyles. That would be amazing. I don't know if you, if you two have uh, collaborated with that yet and thought of a way to uh, help Bumblebee Botanica sell her uh, hair pins, I would say. Put them in the, in the hair styles that Kat does. Anyway, just a suggestion to you two, if you're even watching. But, um... Thank you guys again for hanging out to me. I, I just realized, boy, I'm putting everything away that I, I had to show these in greater detail because they're simply gorgeous. Have a great day, guys. Thanks again. Talk to you later.